Hello beautiful soul and welcome to my channel. In today's video I would like to take a moment to talk about your spiritual heart, what that is, why it's important especially right now, and living a life of, of love. And so right now on the planet we're really approaching a time where the energy of the divine feminine um, is re-emerging. It's time for that energy to rise up and right um, imbalance um, that is currently present within the earthly realm of being. This will facilitate a much needed healing and harmony upon the planet and within the human collective consciousness. The aspect of the Divine Feminine is one of the essence of pure love. Um, so the energy of love in its purest form. And one example of the embodiment of that would be the Goddess Kuan Yin. She really is the epitome of um, the energy of the Divine Feminine, of, of the pure essence of love and, and light and compassion and mercy. And, and so the, you know, the energy of the Divine Feminine is the epitome of that pure essence of love. And love is healing. Without um, the energy, the essence, and the presence of love, there is no healing. And so that's why this energy is so very important, particularly for the planet and for the collective right now. Um, the pure essence of love also carries you back to a very powerful place of remembrance, one that consciously connects you to your spiritual essence of being, to your spiritual heart, to the truth of who you are. And when you're consciously connected to that aspect of yourself, you are also consciously united and connected with source, with the all, with the matrix of life. And it's within that place of being that darkness and density and pain and imbalance do not exist within your state of consciousness. Um, Gaia, also known as Mother Earth, is a living and sentient being of light. Everything in existence is connected. And so the planet that you exist upon is a living entity. It's important to understand that because when harm is done to yourself or to others or to the planet, it ripples out into Gaia's auric field, into her auric space of being, and, the, and then also additionally into the entire matrix of life. And this affects everyone and everything. Because, as I said before, everything is connected. Everything. When you disconnect from Mother Earth, um, when your conscious awareness is, is disconnected um, from your spiritual essence and therefore the, the matrix of life, um, this state of disconnect, this state of consciousness makes it possible to do harm to yourself and others and the planet. It makes it possible to cause pain and suffering in your life, in others' lives. And because it's, it's within that state of consciousness that you view yourself as separate, as separate. You hold the illusion that you are separate from those around you, that you are separate from the planet, the earth, that you are separate, um, which is not the case. 
And so from that conscious state of being of separateness, that state is void of love. And it's the energetic essence of love that connects us to the all, that connects us to our soul, to source, um, to the matrix of all life. And so when, when we are void of that connection, um, or at least consciously we don't understand um, that connection, that's when it creates um, that sense of density and darkness and pain and suffering. Um, I think it's important to understand that the energetic essence of love is the connective tissue of the matrix of all life. Whether you call it God, Buddha, um, Spirit, the Great Creator, Source, the energy of love connects all of that. Um, it is the energy that connects and unifies everything in, in existence. And so a life lived void of love is a life void of healing and unity. And a life lived void of love is a life filled with pain and suffering and separation. This is why understanding divine love and your spiritual heart, what those things are, is so important, particularly right now. This is also um, the reason that I feel that the light languages are presently coming in so strongly um, and through so many different channels and light workers at this point in time um, because the light languages center you in your spiritual heart and they um, immediately consciously connect you um, with the essence of love and that unity. Um, the languages of light hold the pure essence of unity and love. And so when you receive the light languages or the light codes, it is profoundly and deeply healing um, on, a, on a spiritual soul level. What affects all affects one, and what affects one affects all. When you're centered in your spiritual heart, that pure essence of love that you experience there is then rippled throughout the Great Mother's auric field. Um, and that includes all of humanity and the collective. And so to live a life primarily centered within your spiritual heart is to live a life filled with love, joy, creativity, harmony, and abundance. And that is your natural state of being, not one of suffering and disconnect. When your conscious awareness moves into your sacred heart, into that state of consciousness of being, you may then also live from a heart-based heart place of authenticity and unity consciousness. Wishing you peace and love until our paths cross again. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye-bye.